Galactic Marines were the elite clone unit that specialised in multi-terrain combat and were relentless in fulfilling their objectives. But what are Galactic Marines? The Marines were originally part of the 21st Nova Corps, which is part of the 4th Sector of the Army, under the control of Commander Bakara. After proving themselves a more than capable unit, the Nova Corps was disbanded and reorganised into the Galactic Marines and put under the command of Jedi General Kayadi Mundi. Now, the Galactic Marines were specially trained to fight in all conditions and different environments, and they would accompany Kaede Mundi in the various conquests during the Clone Wars, including the many diverse systems in the Outer Rim, where much of the war was fought. The trooper's armour was customised, making them stand out against the standard trooper. They wore Rarun white visors all over their armour, including their face. This was specifically engineered with synthetic weave and protected the troopers and their armour against all sorts of outside elements. Sand, snow, airborne fungus and ash. This allowed them to fight proficiently in all conditions, without their armour becoming worn down or slowing their movements. The soldiers boasted a mix of DC-15A blaster rifles and Westar M5 blasters. The Galactic Marines specialised in boarding and capturing Separatist vessels, as well as land-to-air incisions. This often made them the first wave of attack when sieging one of the many Separatist strongholds scattered across the Outer Rim. The Marines were also expected to improvise in any situation to achieve victory. One such battle where this is most evident was the Battle of Bon Alex. Here, the troops were outnumbered and outmatched, but managed to get some spacesuits, and even though most of the weapon systems on the spacesuits were non-functional, the marines engaged B2 super battle droids with their bare hands. This gave the marines a particularly ferocious reputation amongst the ranks of the separatists. Commander Bakura was a very stern commander, who demanded only the best from his troops, making them go through three phases of training. The standard clone conditioning, underwater and spaceship boarding, and then marksmanship. Bakura's harsh training and tough command did on some occasions contrast with Mundi's compassionate nature. However, the two did work very effectively till the end of the Clone Wars. However, at the Siege of Magito, when Sidious initiated Order 66, Bakura and the Marines didn't hesitate in pulling the trigger against their Jedi leader. But what do you think of the Galactic Marines? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to like and sub. Also, please remember to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy for regular updates. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.